simplify the following expression. Going from left to right, let's start with this set of terms right here. x squared times 1 minus 2x. And we can distribute this x squared into the parentheses. x squared times 1 will give us x squared. And then x squared times a negative 2x will give us a negative 2x cubed. Then we can move on to the next set of terms, negative 5x times 2x minus 3x squared. Once again, we're going to have to distribute. Negative 5x times 2x would be negative 10x squared. Then negative 5x times negative 3x squared would be positive 15x cubed. And then finally, we add on our last two terms, minus 5x cubed plus 2x squared. Now we need to look for like terms and combine them to simplify. It may be easiest if you rearrange these numbers in order of descending power. So you can grab all of your highest powers, 15x cubed minus 2x cubed minus 5x cubed, and then grab all of your next highest powers, the rest of the squares, minus 10x squared plus x squared plus 2x squared. So now we can combine our like terms. 15 minus 2 will give us 13x cubed minus 5x cubed. 13 minus 5 will give us 8x cubed. And that alone is enough to tell us that answer choice B is our correct answer because it is the only option with 8x cubed in it. At that point, you can mark B as your correct answer and move on with the rest of the test. But for the sake of the video, I will continue uh, solving the problem. Here, we have a negative 10 plus 1, which would give us negative 9 plus 2x squared. Negative 9 plus a positive 2, adding a negative is like subtracting a positive, so this would actually be negative 7x squared. So our final answer would be 8x cubed minus 7x squared, making b our correct answer.